Hey students, this is lesson three. Uh, lesson three, the title is Algebra, Variables and Expressions. So uh, yesterday or last lesson, lesson two was numerical expressions and that was numbers and operations. Uh, today build on that idea uh, with expressions except now we are also including a variable. So the first thing, uh, first key word today is an algebraic expression. So lesson two had numerical expression. That was a combination of numbers and operations. An algebraic expression contains at least one variable at least one variable and at least one operation. Quick check. What do you think the word operation means in math? We've talked about that. It means add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So an algebraic expression has at least one variable and at least one operation, either adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. So different than numerical expression because it has at least one variable. Algebraic expression. <clears throat> All right. Next keyword, a variable. You've actually been solving uh, algebraic expressions since early on in elementary. And I'll show you some examples that you'll recognize. A variable is a symbol used to represent a number in math. So a variable is a symbol used to represent a number. And I'll abbreviate number like that. So, variable, a symbol used to represent a number. So now let's get to some elementary examples that you've all seen since early in elementary school. Here is an example. Three plus this box equals five. Well, you might have solved problems like this really early in elementary school and that box, that's a symbol and it's used to represent a number. And of course, most of you can probably look at that and solve that this box would have to be a two. Three plus two equals five. Here's another example. Question mark, subtract four equals nine. This is a variable. It's a symbol, again, used to represent a number and what number makes this work is 13. 13 minus 4 equals 9. So these are examples of variables. Starting now uh, in sixth grade and continuing on in mathematics, letters are the most common variables used. And you can use any letter of the alphabet. Um, o is generally not a good choice because it looks like a zero, but you could use an O. Um, so he, these are, here's another example using a letter. 35 divided by A equals 7. And A in that, in this statement, would be represent 5. 35 divided by 5 equals 7. 
So these are all variables, a symbol used to represent a number. The letter X, and this might be a fun thing for you to look up. Why is X such a common variable? The letter X is the most common letter used as a variable, which kind of gets confusing because X, of course, looks like multiplying. The letter X is often used as a variable. Or the letter X is often used variable. Uh, but it can be any letter. And you'll see examples today uh, with lots of different letters. But as you go on in school, X is really a common variable. Okay, this next notation that I'm going to teach you, uh, the sooner that you get comfortable with this, uh, the better. Different ways of showing multiplying. There are lots of different ways that you could show the example 5 times x, the variable x. Okay, so I'm going to write it up here. 5 five times x. Okay, there it is written out with words. 5 times x. One way we could write that is 5.x. That dot uh, means multiply, and if we're using the variable x, this dot would be a good thing to use, and x would be very confusing. So 5 times x. Another way that we show 5 times x is 5 parentheses x. When you see a number right next to a parenthesis, that means the number is being multiplied by whatever's inside the parentheses. So this is 5 times x. That's new for a lot of 6th graders. The quicker you remember that, you're going to hear me saying that a lot. What does it mean when a number is right next to a parentheses? That means they're being multiplied. And finally, the last thing is just 5x. A number right next to a variable nothing in between, that means they're being multiplied. Okay, so these are all, these are all interchangeable. They all mean 5 times x. So 5 times x, we could represent that 5 dot x, we could represent it 5 with x in parentheses, and we could just have the number 5 right next to the variable x. So whenever you see a number right next to a variable, and again, this let this could be b, could be 5w, could be any letter, but when you have a number right next to a letter, they're being multiplied, same with a number next to parentheses, there's, you could imagine a small dot right there, and 5 dot x is 5 times x. So really important notation, um, showing, multiplying. Today, what you are going to be doing, a lot of your practice today, is you are going to be evaluating, which is another word for solve, evaluating expressions. And in parentheses, I'll just put solve, And what you're doing when you're evaluating expressions is you are substituting the variable with a number and then solving the expression. So I'm going to write substitute, substitute, which is another way of saying replace the variable.
with a number and then solve. And solve using the order of operations, which we learned about in a previous lesson. So here are some examples of evaluating expressions. So we are going to say that the variable a equals 8, b has the value of 6, and c, the variable c, has the value of 2 thirds. a equals 8, b equals 6, and c equals 2 thirds. And now we are going to solve these expressions. a plus 8, we are going to solve the expression a, b, and we are going to solve the expression 9c squared. So over here I'm going to solve these expressions by substituting these numbers in for whatever variable is being used in the expression. So here's the first one, a plus 8. The first thing you should always do is copy the expression. Now I'm going to substitute the variable with a number and solve it. So a, it told me that a equals 8, so then all I'm going to do is substitute 8 in for the variable and solve it. This expression, when I solve it with a equals 8, I get 16. This next expression, a, b, two variables right next to each other. Just like when you have a number right next to a variable, two variables right next to each other means a times b. So that's another really important notation that's new for a lot of kids. Two variables, two letters right next to each other, they're always being multiplied. So now I'm going to put in the value, I'm going to substitute the value for a and substitute the value for b and solve it. So a equals 8 and b equals 6. So I'm solving 8 times 6, which is 48. The last one, last expression, 9c squared. There's my expression. I'm going to substitute 2 thirds in for c. So all I did was rewrite 9c squared. I put in 2 thirds. So now it's 9 times 2 thirds squared. And following the order of operations, I'm going to do this part first. And we're going to expand 2 thirds times 2 thirds. So I've got 9 times 2 thirds times 2 thirds. That is 2 thirds squared. Well, I multiply straight across. I'm going to get 4 over 9. And Once I solve inside those parentheses and I get an answer, 9 with a parenthesis right next to it, that, another way of writing that is multiply. A number right next to a parenthesis means multiplying, so now I need to solve 9 times 4 ninths. Well, now I've got a whole number times a fraction. I can make that 9 over 1, which turns into... 36 over 9. Improper fraction. How many 9's go into 36? My answer is 4. So that is a lot of your practice today. It is 
taking an algebraic expression like this, looking at what amount the variable is assigned, and solving it. a plus 8, where a equals 8, plug in an 8, solve it, get an answer. Two variables right next to each other, a, b, means a times b. Plug in an 8 for a, substitute a 6 for b, solve it, you get 48. Nine C squared. Again, I substituted two thirds in for the variable C, and then I solved it and got four. All right, so just to review some really important notation, I'm gonna actually double highlight some of these. This is really big right here. New notation for a lot of kids. A number right next to parentheses means you are multiplying. This is also new for a lot of kids. A number right next to a variable means you are multiplying. Uh, a lot of, most of your practice today is this, taking an algebraic expression and the amount that it tells you the variable is, substituting that amount in for the variable, and then just solving. Okay. Uh, your hidden treasure for lesson three is this puzzle. Be ready with the answer for that puzzle uh, during the next lesson. And your name, if it's drawn, you could be the winner of that hidden treasure. I will see you again soon uh, for lesson four. Take care.